Hello everyone and today I am going to be making a pickpocket system so you guys don't have to. Uh, free model will be in the description of the video, join the discord, go down to the free script section and it will be in there. Anyway, I think we should begin. So first of all what we're going to do is we're going to come into server script service. We're going to make two scripts in there. No, one script in there, sorry. Then we're going to also come down here and to start a character and make a local script. Now that we've got two of them, all we need to do now is make sure that in replicated storage we have a remote event. We're going to start with a remote event whilst I turn down my Spotify. Ha ha ha. Uh, we need to name the remote event uh, pick pocket i. This will be our remote event for the pickpocket. Okay. So let's get on with the main script here. Whilst actually before we start, th this will be included, this data store system, uh, within the free model. However, if you want to quickly copy it now, this is your time to pause the video and copy it down into your service script service. Now, we won't be going over that, there is a separate video for that. However, let's get on with this. So to begin with, we're going to first evaluate the game players uh, dot player added uh, connect function uh, and today we're going to be using player instead of uh, player but it really depends this can be a player this can be a player with a capital P depends on what you want to use but uh, character added connected function and uh, this is going to be a char one local proximity prompt equals instance dot new so we've seen this before in our um, scripting before it's an instance dot new so it just creates it for us so we don't have to have this save for it proximity prompt dot whole duration this is how long it takes to actually uh, pickpocket someone. So it takes 10 seconds, but you can change that to whatever you want. Uh, proximity prompt dot object text equals player dot name. Uh, proximity prompt dot action text equals, and this is just what it's going to say when you're pickpocketing so we'll do hold e to pick pocket cool now we've got proximity prompt dot requires line of sign equals true this is just so people don't cheat it so they're not like under the map for example or behind a wall dot max activation distance equals four this is how far away it takes to actually open the proximity Proximity holder equals instance dot new. And this is going to be a part. Now we're going to do proximity prompt prompt dot name. And this, oh sorry, name equals cool uh, pick pick pocket part. We're going to get, sorry, this is wrong. It is proximity holder on all of these lines. So proximity holder dot size equals vector, vector three dot new. Uh, and these are going to be one space, one, one. And then we're going to get another proximity holder section. These are going to be dot transparency. That's going to equal one. Proximity holder dot can collide. That's going to equal false. Now we just need to do the is it anchored? That equals false. Proximity holder dot C frame 
equals char, which is something we've already made up here. Char dot humanoid. Root part dot c frame uh, minus and then this is going to be char dot hu humanoid root part dot c frame dot look vector and then times two. So that is that section of the script done. So now we've just got to go on to the local proximity equals instance dot new. And then we've got the weld constraint. So th th this is welding it to the body of whatever we're doing. Uh, proximity weld dot part zero equals char dot humanoid root part and then proximity well dot part one equals proximity holder so now that we've done that we can go two lines down um, we're going to do the exact same thing proximity well dot parent equals char and then humanoid dot humanoid root part Excellent, and then we've got another one. Proximity prompt dot parent equals proximity holder, and then on our last one we've got proximity holder dot parent equals char dot humanoid root part. Now we've got game dot replicated replicated storage dot pickpocketed uh, and then this is going to be a fire climb uh, and play. Now we've got proximity prompt dot triggered and we need to connect that to a function sorry we've got to connect that to a function And that's player who trig good then we're gonna have here if player who triggered uh, we're gonna have a squiggly line uh, equals player then local m uh, max money equals player dot leader stats dot wallet data dot value uh, equals 30 and 30 or player dot leader stats dot wallet data dot value La line line chance uh, sorry that's not what I wanted to write um, that's for that section and then local cache stolen equals math dot random zero max money And then this is just to make sure that we know where the data store is coming from. So leader stats dot wallet data dot value um, minus equals uh, cash stolen and then player who triggered dot lead dot leader stats dot wallet data dot value um, plus minus sorry plus equals cash 
is dull. And then we should have three ends and that. That should be like that. That's our main script done. Now we need to go into our local script here. And remove that. Game dot replicated storage dot pick pocket dot on client event connect function. And this is going to be script dot parent dot humanoid um, root part dot wait wait for child pick pocket part then wait for child proximity prompt and then dot enabled equals false cool that's all done and dusted scripts all good now if we put it in player scripts just to test and press play any errors will automatically come up I suggest as you can see it comes up behind and it does it and because we've got the data store involved we've got bank data and wallet data there now that we've done that the only reason this is coming up is because we've got the local script in the wrong place and that's the only reason that issue will come up but if you've got it all in the correct places then it's all done and dusted and you can now pickpocket anyone you choose uh, hope you enjoyed the video um, quickly whilst I'm here if you want to know how to change your max money uh, change these two digits to whatever money you want so that could be 100 and that can be 100 but it all depends on what you want anyway um, thank you for watching and I'll see you all later bye bye